Generation cast was given a lavish send-off in the feature film Star Trek Nemesis when the crew gathered for a wedding of Will Riker and Deanna Troy. <laughs> Isn't that so sweet? Let's take a look. There's still time to reconsider. Yes? No. no. Oh, very well then. Will Riker. You have been my trusted right arm for 15 years. You have kept my course true and steady. Deanna Troy, you've been my guide and my conscience. You have helped me recognize the better parts of myself. You are my family. And in best maritime tradition, I wish you both Clear horizons, my good friends. Make it so. <laughs> the bride and groom. I helped design that wedding dress. You did. You did. And I chose the pink. Did you knit thought, it? No, but I thought white would be going it a bit, actually. We've like got one too many wedding one dresses. Too many, yeah. Well, listen, we want to give you a proper toast as well to thank you all so much for yeah, coming here and being with us today. The whole it's day. It's been such a great day. We're so honored to have you here, but we can't do that until we have a cocktail. Yes. So our cocktail. kitchen scientist, Dan Kohler, is here to show us all the science between zero... Uh, What's the word? Try it again. The yeah. science <laughs> behind. Thank you. Not between, but it is between. The science That's right. behind zero gravity cocktails. That's right. So when we talk about cocktails, most of the time they're completely homogenous, right? Whether they're shaken or stirred, they're totally mixed, and it looks like one solution in your glass. If you want to make something that defies gravity a little bit, you have to trick these alcohols into separating, into so that the lighter ones are on top. But figuring that out means you have to learn a little lesson in density, which, uh, Kim Douglas, might you... Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Right. You two are so oh, tall you know, back there. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll take you. Down you. When you're that tall, yeah, you become a target, Kim. I know. Okay. Anyway, I know. So, so density is a measure of... I think so. Density is a measure of mass. It's the relative heaviness of objects with similar volume. So when you look at your alcohol content, what you're looking here, like on the Curacao here, you can see it's got 15% alcohol down here. Now that tells you that the rest of the 85% is either sugar or water, which means it's going to be much heavier than something that's got about 40% alcohol. Ooh, so when you're like making syrup. a layered cocktail, oh. it's, it's important to know the percentage alcohol. I'm starting off with grenadine. Grenadine is almost all sugar, so it's very heavy. It's gonna go right to the bottom. Now, I have a little tool here. What? This is going to help me uh, make these layered cocktails perfectly. There we go. I can just like pour the, I can pour the blue curacao right in here and it will float right on top of that grenadine. All right, what if I don't have one of those? Well, if you don't have this at home, you know what works just as well? The back of a silver spoon. Oh. <laughs> really? Now, after the grenadine goes in the Midori, this is about 23% so, alcohol. Oh, it's like follow, following the... It's following an down. instruction. So if you're going to make a layered cocktail, you've got to look at the percentages before you start. Mm. And then finally... What is that one? So this the is the limoncello, which will float right on wow. top. So the, mo the one that's have the most alcohol is gonna, are the ones that are going to be the lightest. the lightest on exactly. top. Exactly. And it's the funny. one that has the least alcohol is kind of looks syrupy. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Now, if you know your lessons about density, you actually can flip it on its head. So right wow. here in the, in the glass, I, have, uh, I just have some triple sec, which is about 15%. And on top, I'm going to float a little bit of Bailey's. Like what he said you could do, Mark, if you want. You could. Look at <gasps> oh, It goes back cool. to the top. And on top of this, we're going to do what I call the alien invasion. You drip some grenadine right through there, and it drips right to the bottom. So you've got these little aliens that are coming for a landing. Look at that. <laughs> Alien invasion. That, would that, if you did that out of order, would it eventually separate? No, it, it, at, at this point, they're going to start mixing on their own. They will mix yeah. on their own. Same with it's the It's all other about guys. the order. It's actually very specific about the order. Okay. Yeah. So this will start to mix, too. 
I said we are friends. Let's raise a glass. Ladies? No. Let's cheers. Look at you. Oh, there you go. Many more wonderful years ahead and the memories behind, right? To living long and prospering. Always and forever. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Cheers. More fascinating facts about Dan's information today on his website. And I say live long and prosper. Off we go. Light speed. We'll be right back. Oh, is this going to be good? <laughs> That's sweet. Woo! Oh, that'll take it. Oh, nice. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that is a good one. <laughs>